So we have our domain and range. OK, um, so obviously we talked about the, the set of all x values, how far left and how far right it goes. So if we're looking at this domain, we're looking at the set of x values, right? How far left is this graph going to go? You can see it goes as far left as negative 2. But at the actual x value of negative 2 is undefined for x because it's out of whole. So therefore, we're going to use a parenthesis to say that it goes up to negative 2, but negative 2 is not included. And then we want to say, all right, from negative 2 continuing down the x path, everything else is continuous, right? So we're not worried about any other discontinuity. So we're good there. And then we basically want to say, well, how far is it going on to the right? Well, as this graph shoots up, it's still going to the right. It's still pushing, pushing to the right. So that's going to go all the way to infinity. Now, infinity is not a tangible number that you can actually, like, you can't have infinity of like money or anything. So therefore, infinity is not in going to be included either. When we're looking at the range, sorry, that was the domain. When we're looking at the range, now we're looking at really the set of y values. So we're basically looking at what are all the y values that make up this graph. Now, I didn't really do a good job later this one. We'll make that 4. Okay. So another way of thinking about that is saying, well, basically, how low is my graph going to go and how high is my graph going to go? And you can see that this graph goes all the way down to negative 4. right? And does it include y equals negative 4? Yes. So therefore, since negative 4 is included as a y value, we're going to use a bracket. And then it goes all the way up. Now, there's a kind of an interesting point here. Once you guys say that 0 is undefined here for the y value, is 0 is undefined there, right? Because that's, that's like a discontinuity of the range. But fortunately, we have another y value. So y is contained. So we don't need, there's no like break in the range. All the y values are contained from negative 4 all the way up to infinity. OK, before I move on, does anybody have any questions on like understanding domain and range? Yes? This is negative 2. x equals negative 2. This point does not exist. Therefore, negative 2 is not an x value on the graph. right? So it's not a part of the graph. So therefore, negative 2 is not included. This value is y equals negative 4. That is a part of the graph. So negative 4 with brackets means that is a part of the graph. OK, it's kind of like. It means it's, inclu it's included or excluded. Other question? Oh. oh. Everybody else? Good? Now, um, oh, actually, there's one more thing I should probably mention to you guys. Just real quick, I'm sorry. What if this, what if like this point was like, what if this was like a hole? What if I changed that to a hole? You got to be careful because now, instead of it saying from negative 2 to infinity, we have to look out. There's another hole there. There's another x value that's not included. Would you guys agree? So now we can't say negative 2 to infinity because now 2 is not included. So what we would have to do, and again, I'm just kind of going, I'm, as I mentioned, I'm trying to teach to give, you know, I'm only going over one example, but I'm trying to at least make sure you guys are aware of the other examples. What I'd have to do here is basically draw, explain the domain to the left of the discontinuity and explain the domain to the right of the discontinuity. So this domain would now be changed from negative 2 to 2, and then 2 to infinity. If that doesn't make sense, raise your hand. I'll be more than happy to further explain. Yes. Oh, do you, well, yeah, raise your hand. But if you have like maybe a question or something that I can elaborate off of. Is the, is the, is the x values defined for negative 2 to 2? Do we have all the x values between negative 2 and 2? Yes, we're good. We're good. Between negative 2 and 2, we have all this graph is made up of all these x values. We're good. But negative 2 is not defined, parenthesis, and 2 is not defined. Right? So that's why they're in bracket or in parentheses. And then we just do the domain from 2 to infinity. Again, the domain is the set of all x values. You have all these x values are all coordinate points on this graph, except not at negative 2 and not at 2, though, in this hypothetical situation. Question? Yeah, so you can write it like this. You guys will also sometimes see us using the union symbol. 
And if you guys remember from sets and set notation, Venn diagrams, remember like the union, the and, the or. Union is best basically meaning, guys, you're combining those two. So you could use them with a union symbol or not. It doesn't really matter. You'll just see this, though. So just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. OK? And then also, we, the range would be messed up, too. Because you guys see how the range, there's no now, now there's no y value, y equals 0. Right? Do you guys see that? So now there's no y equals 0. So, um, so the range would have to be split up as well. Let's do that real quick. Split up the range would be negative 4, still included, to 0, not included, 0 to infinity. Let it sink in if you need to. 